Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Some of you may have seen this cart before. I got it running, drove a little bit. But I live out in the country and this is pretty much useless, useless to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all this stuff off that they put on. All the way around. And I'm going to take this GX270 off. It's got a wet clutch. Don't like it. Don't like Honda motors. I mean, they're fine, but it's not my cup of tea. And I really don't want to mess with it because it's been sitting out in the weather all, all summer and uncovered and stuff. And one thing I really hate about it is this down belt drive and wet clutch. I cannot stand that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this engine off, get it somewhere to where I can work on it and keep it out of the weather, and uh, just go from there. I'll get rid of that stupid thing. What I'll probably end up doing is putting a 212 on it. Maybe a stage 2 212. Get some kind of sprocket carrier for that axle. Because I really want to use that axle. It's a big, thick axle. And we'll just make us a nice, vicious yard cart out of it. Uh, probably use the tank too. It needs a pulse pump. That's a nice tank, so we'll probably use that. And it's got disc brakes. We'll keep those. Remember, we're going to cut all this stupid crap off. And change the tires on it. Get it off the ground. Probably put 8 inches on the back and try to figure out something in the front to make it level out uh, it might take a six inch to keep it level but we need to get this thing off the ground at least three inches be my guess maybe four because uh, right now she sets way too low you can see she is touching the grass look at that insane it's fine on pavement but when you're in a yard or gravel or something like that it just absolutely will not work We'll keep the pedals and these tie rods. I'm not sure about those. These are, they'll probably be all right. They're flexible, they'll bend. I don't know how bad that's gonna affect a yard cart. Works great on these. I've drove this thing down the road 55, 60 miles an hour, man, and she just hangs right in there. Cuts really great. But that's what I'm gonna do. Get this engine off, see how hard that's gonna be. And, uh, I may give you guys an update after that, but I just wanted to put this up so you know what I'm getting into. Okay. It's so hard to get in there on these things. That one, I don't know what we're going to do with that one. Because it just looks like it just turns freely. So I don't know what's going to happen if this engine's going to lift off when I get all these bolts off or not. But this is a bad place for these. I don't like it. Not enough room and I don't have any ratchet wrenches, but we'll wrench it. I don't know if this will help or not. But let me get this done. Yeah, I think that one bolt, guys, back there in the back is what's holding it. Probably have to get a sawzall and cut that off. You're not really going to be able to see this, but I'm going to take this screwdriver, and I'm going to go underneath that bolt and raise it up and use the box at the end of the wrench to try to get it to turn, because I think it'll hold enough to 
to let me turn it. Well, I can't get the box in then. We don't need to turn it much, just a little bit. Uh, I think it's gonna work. It's a whole lot easier than get the saws on it. There's no room. It might stay up now. Oh, it is. When you wrench, it's just a little too long. I need a shorter one for this. Oh, I still can't turn it. Okay. Whew, there she is. Saved us a lot of work. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, instead of taking the throttle cable loose, I'm going to replace all this anyway. I'm just going to try to pull the, the cable through its housing because it's not attached up front. Then I'm going to cut this belt off and move this fuel line. So, let's see what happens. That worked pretty good. Now this fuel line goes to our tank. We're not going to take it. We're going to get this cable out there so it doesn't hang on anything. We'll take this little right here. Then to get this magic belt off of there. Old Faithful Knife. It may cut this, it may not. I don't know how tough these belts are. Might not need to cut this bit. Okay, I think everything's loose. Let's see if we can't lift this off. Ah, all this exhaust. We gotta disconnect it. I forgot about that. I don't. I think I'm just gonna take this screen. I tried to take all of it out at one time because I'm not going to use any of it, so. And there we are, guys. Get everything off to work and see what we're working with. Like I said, I'll put a Predator 212 on here, change these tires, and get a sprocket carrier for this for this big axle and clean everything up. But that's about all I'm going to do today. It may take me a while to update the next video, but I'll get it to her, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.